Alright, so here goes for another tutorial video. One of my most recent problems was I was trying to figure out how to get the videos from my PlayStation 5 onto my computer. And I was watching a whole bunch of videos and people were like, yeah, you just plug in your USB drive um, to the PlayStation and download it and then put it on your computer. But none of body explained like what kind of USB you need to do. Do uh, you need to format the USB or anything like that? So, I figured I would go ahead and tell you, yes, make sure you format your USB. <laughs> so, uh, technically the kind of USB that you're wanting to use are, is going to be one of these. Um, you need a something that's a 3.1. Um, I realized the ones I have around my house, I haven't bought a USB in a while. So, none of mine are 3.1. And when I tried to test them on my PlayStation 5, it was so slow. The download took hours for like a four minute video. So I'm gonna be ordering one of these and as you can see they're cost effective. Some of them are 10, 13, you know, just find the one that works for you. Um, I do suggest making sure you get one that's at least eight gigabytes or more. Um, I tried to use a four gigabyte and no, not happening, even if the file was small. Um, so at least eight gigabytes or more, I say go ahead and get something bigger. Um, I, even here, like 128 gigabytes for 1149, you can't beat that. So then we're going to go ahead and plug in. I've got a verbatim that I'm using. It's 8 gigabytes just for tutorial purposes. Or verbatim. I don't know how you name it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and stick that in there. I had already formatted it, but then I reformatted it back so I could do this tutorial. So we're just going to come and... Let's just go to my computer, this PC, please ignore all the space, I'm a photographer, so I've got a lot of files on here right now, your, your computer should never be this full, it'll slow it down tremendously. Alright, so, as you can see, here it is, it's called, right now it's called Clip, so you're just going to right click on it, we're going to come down and we're going to format. And it's never going to say the full capacity because there are all these files on these sticks that make them run. Um, typically, it's usually going to say FAT32 on here. FAT32, of course, is just the most universal that all devices use. So we're just going to go ahead and change it to XFAT. So that is what PlayStation uses. Um, you don't need to change the allocation size. There's no using, reason to ever change that. Um, I'm going to rename it. PS5. So if I decide this is what I want to use it for, I'll always know. Um, make sure that this is clicked for quick format and then you're just going to hit start. It's going to give you this message. You're just going to say okay. It's going to give you this message and you're just going to say yes. And then format complete. And that's it. Simplicity. So my next step after this is we're going to take it out and plug it into the PlayStation. 